Hi, this is Chloe. Welcome back to my channel. Are you thinking of moving to Paso Robles, but scared of the changes that come with moving to a new city? Well, this video might just be perfect for you. Today, we will be talking about the pros and the cons of moving to Paso Robles, California. We are gonna jump right in and get started with all the cons of moving to Paso Robles. Although Paso Robles is known for its small businesses, we do not have any brand name shopping. You will actually have to drive about 30 minutes south to San Luis Obispo to go to stores like Urban Outfitters, Sephora, Anthropology, and other big name stores. And if you are looking for any designer brands, forget about Paso Robles because you will have to drive at least 170 miles to get to stores like Louis Vuitton, Gucci, Chanel, and all other designer brands. Con number two, wildlife. Coming from bigger cities, the sight of deer and wild pigs may be very fascinating. And although I am an animal lover myself, I do not love deer running in front of my car and totally totaling my car. On most country roads in Paso Robles, you can expect to see two to three dead deer on the side of the road. And it's really, it, it really is a sad sight to see, but it is so common for the deer to run out in front of your car. It is not like people are going out of their way to hit these deer. Landscaping can also be very difficult with the wildlife. I mean, a deer wants to have a midnight snack on your lawn, very easy for that. Raccoons, possums, I've seen a few foxes out where I live. It is all coyotes. Coyotes are huge and they are a little scary. I mean, for me, uh, you know, just a little girl like I am, I'm very scared of coyotes and you see a lot of them in Paso Robles. If you are thinking about moving to the countryside of Paso Robles and you have small dogs or cats or even chickens, you should be concerned about mountain lions, bobcats, coyotes, and hawks. Cause those can really, really, really you know just take away those animals and that is an important factor to realize like you don't you wouldn't think that these animals would be here because you don't really hear of attacks and you don't but i mean i'm on a local facebook page and i see almost every week goats getting attacked sheep getting attacked by mountain lions on you know the countryside of paso and that it really is a big concern so just think about that that is our second con of moving to paso robles Con number three is no airport. The closest airport to Paso Robles is actually 30 miles away in San Luis Obispo. San Luis Obispo airport is actually pretty small as well. So you will have to, you know, you'll have to drive four hours to LAX, three hours to San Francisco airport, you know, to get those bigger direct flights. After going over the cons, Let's forget about that and go straight to the pros. The first pro of moving to Paso Robles is its distance from beaches, rivers, and lakes. Paso Robles is located in the heart of the Salinas River. This river can create beautiful memories for young families and young children. One year in high school, my friends and I, we actually packed up some like Target and Walmart tubes and we parked our cars at the high school and we floated down the river about seven to eight miles to the nearest Walmart in Paso Robles. So it was super fun. I mean, that was just a memory I will never forget. And I definitely still have the scar from the sunburn I got. So remember to wear sunscreen if you're gonna go to the river because again, Paso Robles is a warm destination. So the river, you know, it's, it's a lot of fun when it's a hot summer day and you can bring your dog, you can bring your buggy, you could bring your dirt bikes. There's just so many things that the river has to offer. Paso Robles is also relatively close to the beach. If you take a scenic drive, you can find popular beaches like Morro Bay, Pismo Beach, Avila Beach, Cayucas, and Cambria. If going to the beach is not your thing, Paso Robles is also home to the beautiful Lake Nacimento. Lake Nacimento is the place I love to be in the summer. We like to take our boat out there and we wakeboard, wake surf, tube, 
so many fun activities and this year it is actually 100% full which we have not seen in many many years. So I am so excited to get out to Lake Nansmeno this summer. Pro number two, low risk of natural disasters. A huge pro of living in Paso Robles for myself is the low risk of natural disasters. I do struggle with anxiety, so it is really good to know that I do not have to worry about tornadoes, hurricanes, twisters, extreme flooding. I mean, California is pretty, pretty safe from all of that. But what do we have to worry about? Earthquakes. Anyone from out of state will say, wow, you guys get those big old earthquakes. Yes, we do. But there's not an earthquake every week. There's not even a big earthquake every year. It is so... I mean, now that I say that, I'm sure my building will like collapse from a huge earthquake, but I mean, California is not as earthquake ridden as these out of state folks make it seem like. The last big earthquake to hit Paso Robles was actually in 2003. It was a 6.6 .6 earthquake, which it was pretty bad and it had a lot of damage downtown, but that was also 20 years ago and we have not experienced one since at that magnitude. Paso Robles is also relatively safe from wildfires. Yes, although California may be up in flames half the year, half the summer, Paso Robles has been lucky enough not to experience tons of wildfires. And that is something I am so grateful for because I don't think I could deal with that. Yes, sometimes you walk out in the middle of summer or spring and you smell you know, you smell the fires from Salinas, Santa Barbara, out in Carrizo Plains, but for the most part, Paso Robles really has not experienced a huge fire in many, many years. The next pro is my personal favorite pro of living in Paso Robles. Pro number three is that Paso Robles is a small town without being too small. Paso Robles has a great small town field without feeling like you need to get out and go to a city. Paso Robles has a population of about 32,000 people. And this to me is a perfect dynamic. In Paso Robles, you do know all the locals and all the people you went to high school with, but you still can go downtown on the weekends and see tons of tourists in faces that you've never seen before. That is just great for me because it is so fun when you wanna feel like Oh, I want to go out and get drinks at a restaurant. You can go downtown Paso and you don't really see anyone you know. But if you want to go on a, a walk in your neighborhood, you, you know, you're going to recognize some people. So to me, that is my favorite part about Paso Robles is it's a small town without feeling too small. You're not trapped in a bubble. I know some people say that, you know, you're born in your hometown and you stay and you don't leave after high school or college. But to me, I love Paso Robles for the reason that it does not feel too small. Pro number four is the weather. Although in the summer you might get some very hot days and in the winter you might get some very chilly nights, weather is pretty consistent year round. Most days you can expect to see clear skies and have sunny warm weather. Most days I do not even check the weather because it is so easy to predict, you know, how warm it's gonna be and how how I should dress. I mean, most days I wear jeans, a sweater with a shirt underneath, just in case it does tend to be a little warmer. And then in the summer, you can kind of predict just to wear sundresses, shorts, and a t-shirt. I mean, it is really great not having to worry about the crazy, crazy weather because we usually do not see it. I mean, this year has been a little different with the rain, but for the most part, California is pretty consistent in Paso Robles, especially with the weather conditions. That is all the information I have on the pros and cons of living in Paso Robles. Now that you've stayed for the end of the video, I am going to tell you my favorite pro of living in Paso Robles. My favorite thing about living in Paso Robles is the amount of activities they have year round. Paso Robles really loves to get the community together with events like the Mid-State Fair, which has so many opportunities for little kids wanting to do 4-H or FFA and just get together and go to concerts 
and eat food and have really good times and laughs. They also have great concerts at Vienna Robles Amphitheater, which is a beautiful amphitheater and actually brings in really big artists. I, a few years ago, I went and saw Casey Musgraves and it was absolutely amazing. I loved it. Thank you guys for watching and I hope I made your decision to move to Paso Robles a little bit easier. And if I did, if you guys decide to move to Paso Robles, please click the link in my description to a free relocation guide to the Central Coast. This has great information on it, especially if you're thinking about moving here. Thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for the next video.